Hi, welcome to the second episode of Regex tutorial. We discussed few basic things in Regex, in the previous tutorial and we will quickly try to recall it. Please find the link in the description if you still haven't watched the previous tutorial introduction to Regex. Ok, just to start with let's go to regexer.com website. I am going to print some mobile numbers in text area with the prefix, mobile. Let's assume there are few ways that particular mobile number may be formatted in the document. So we need to find a solution to extract the mobile number, no matter what the format is. Let's start writing the expression. Mobile is just a text, so I write mobile. Then you have to keep a space. Either you can press space bar or type backslash and lowercase s. Then type colon and another space. Ok, now let's see how the number is formatted. You can see, each mobile number is started with three numbers before you get a dash or a space. In previous tutorial we learned how to represent numbers in regular expressions. So I use, backslash and lowercase d. But we have three numbers. So now it is the time to use curly braces and type 3 inside. Now, the next character going to be a dash, space, or a number. So we already know how to make characters optional. Next one can be a number. So I enter lowercase d with a preceding backslash. Then I type a question mark to make the digit optional. Same should be done to the dash and space. Type dash and then question mark. And then a lowercase s preceding backslash and question mark to make it optional. So if you carefully look at the numbers, our regex expression has identified up to the fourth position of each mobile number. Let's carefully check the numbers again. We can see a similar pattern here. We have three another numbers and then a dash or a space or a number. Repeat what we just followed previously and check the text area. Now it is the time to capture last digits of the telephone number. Let's type lowercase d preceded with a backslash and use the relevant quantifier. 3 inside curly braces, in this case. So, our expression can capture the mobile number from a content for any of those formats. Just to make sure the expression is working, I will add another number which follows one of those formats. Perfect. It captures. Next thing we're going to discuss is, starting and ending of irregular expressions. We are going to use anchors for that. Start of a regular expression is represented by hat sign and end is represented by dollar sign. Let's see the example. I wrote a string where ABC is repeating. Then I am going to write ABC in the expression area. You can see, it select all the ABC groups in the string. Ok, now let's see what will happen if we use hat sign. It will select only first ABC because hat sign represent only start position. Then remove hat sign and put dollar sign at the end. Then the expression selects only last ABC group which is the end of the string. If you remember, we use some lowercase letter preceded with backslash to represent digits, alphanumeric characters and spaces. So what will happen if we use the uppercase letter? Let's try. So I am going to write a random string that includes alphanumeric characters, spaces and special characters.
Ok let's type uppercase W proceeded with backslash in expression area. You can see it selects everything other than alphanumeric since lowercase w represents the alphanumeric characters. Then let's type uppercase d preceded with backslash. Now the expression selects everything other than digits. So, that way those uppercase letters represent the negation of what the lowercase letter supposed to do. As an example, uppercase S highlights non-spaces. Next, let's try to learn capture groups. Think about a scenario we have a string that two character groups are repeating again and again. Check the string in the text area. 1 2 3 and 3 2 1 is repeating. Let's try to type the expression. Since 1 2 3 and 3 2 1 is repeating, I am gonna group them using parenthesis. Then we can consider it as a capture group. So our first capture group is 1 2 3 and the second one is 3 2 1. Now we can use 1 or 2 preceded by backslash to represent capture group. See the example in expression area. If you try to put backslash in 3, the expression warn that there is not a third capture group. Let's see how word boundary works. We can use lowercase b preceded with backslash to represent a word boundary. To test that I will type some words and numbers in the text area. Then, if I type E in the expression bar, it select all the E characters in the content. But if I put the word boundary which is lowercase b preceded with a backslash, it will select only E characters in the boundary. Now, let's see how our condition work in regular expressions. Assume, we need to capture a like password at 123, but its sign can be replaced by dash, or underscore. If you type password underscore 123 in the expression bar, it will select the first line which is the exact word. But if we need or condition in the expression, we can use pipe sign in the keyboard. So if you read the content carefully, all the words have an alphanumeric or non-alphanumeric character in between password and 123. So I will use lowercase w to represent all alphanumeric characters. And pipe for the or condition and uppercase W to represent all the non-alphanumeric characters. And this should be written within parenthesis. See, it select all the words. Finally let's talk about how to negate the expression. I will type some random words in the text area including lowercase, uppercase, numbers and special characters. Ok, we now how to write lowercase character class. Let's start from that. Let's type a dash C within square brackets. It will select lowercase characters, but if you put hat sign before that is in the example, it will select which are not included in the given character class. Try a similar thing to uppercase character class and numbers. In next tutorial I would like to talk about usage of regular expression and especially how we use that in web scraping. Please subscribe this channel if you still haven't done to receive more nice videos. Don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.